Hey guys, Miss Drake here. Taking a look at one of the problems, you'll notice that this may look very similar to the problem on the review or on the test. So if you didn't do 2.1.7 and that felt very new to you, let's take a look and go through this problem um, so we can find out uh, what went wrong and how do we fix that. So we're going to start by looking at uh, this problem in terms of what forces do we know and what do we not know. And so we know that this uh, over at 7, the coordinates 9, 7, that this is a pinned joint. We know that down at the coordinates 7, 4, that this is a roller joint. And sorry, the writing doesn't work so great on this. And we know that there is a weight of a sign hanging at the point 1, 4. And so that is the weight that's suspended. What does that mean is that we can take a look at what forces are acting on this. And so I think we could do this a really long convoluted way, but we're going to take a peek at a shorter way. We know that uh, because it's a pinned joint that we have forces acting in the y direction and in the x direction. We know down here at the roller joint that we only have forces acting in the x direction. There's nothing in the y because this is able to slide up and down on the y. We know over at point, the point where the sign is hanging that we have forces acting in the y direction. I'm going to put that arrow up because that would be positive and we know that there are forces acting in the x direction. We actually know what those forces are so let's give these points uh, a letter designation. That's uh, point A and then it doesn't matter which one we make which. So let's make the point up here point B and let's make this one point C. So now we know that there are all those forces. These C and B are reaction forces. A is um, a weight force. So we know that the force at A in the Y direction equals 500 uh, does it in so pounds. So the we're looking in pounds. So 500 pounds. And that's F of A in the Y direction. We know that there is F of B in the Y direction equals zero pounds because there are no forces in the Y direction. And we know that um, we don't know force of B in the Y direction. But we do know that if this thing isn't crashing to the ground, that all of the forces in the uh, Y direction must balance. So we know that all the forces in the Y must equal zero. And we know that A is 500. But now here's an important distinction. Is the 500 pounds going up the Y axis in the positive direction or down in the negative direction? And if we look at that, we can see that it's down. So our force is negative 500 pounds. So now if we do some math, I'm going to move over to the right side. We know that force of Y equals 0, and that equals force of A, which is negative 500, plus force of B in the Y, or the reaction force at B. And so we know that um, FBY must equal 500 pounds, right? So we know that we can put in 500 pounds on that. That is a, it's a vector quantity, so that is it's 500 pounds is the magnitude. The direction, is it going to be, is this going to be uh, 500 pounds up or 500 pounds down? And because it came out as a positive, we know that that is up. So instead of being unknown now, we now know that it is 500 pounds in the up direction. So now I'm going to erase that work to give us more space to work on the next part.
and I'm going to erase it in front of you so you don't think that I magically just invented something and jumped ahead. So now we know those forces, and now we can figure out, since this is a vector force, and we know an angle, and we know one of the legs of the triangle, and it is a right triangle, we know that uh, we can figure out the force along x, and we can figure out the um, the force on this beam across the member, this beam or this member, um, AB. So this would be this force on X is the same as the force on AC. And so for as much as A is pushing in towards the wall, because this is most likely in compression, um, with tend to this line being in tension, if you think about it. Uh, a is going to pull this, but as A is pulling this, A is trying to swing towards the wall, and so if A is trying to swing towards the wall, that's the moment at A, and that means that this beam is most likely in compression. So this one is being compressed. So now we can figure out FAC and FAB using trigonometry. So we can go and see if I can zoom out a little bit, give us more room to work. So we can think about it as now we know the opposite. So BC is the opposite, and we want to know the hypotenuse. So we're going to use opposite over hypotenuse. That is sine, and the angle is 39.806, that did not turn out well, 39.806, equals 500 pounds over the force of AB. So we can solve for that. Force of AB is going to equal 500 pounds over the sine of 39.806. Pause this, take a moment to figure out that number. And if my math is correct, the force of AB is 781.017, so 781 pounds. Now we're going to do the same thing with the FAC. I'm going to erase the bottom, pause the video while you see if you can try it, and then I will erase it and come back. I'm always going to try and go back to my measured number rather than use a calculated number. So for this one, I'm going to choose to use tangent because I am more confident in my 500 pounds. And so I'm going to go back and I'm going to use tangent. Uh, tangent equals opposite over adjacent. And so if I rearrange that equation, I get the force of AC is equal to 500 pounds, which is my opposite, over uh, 39806, which was my angle. Calculate that out. When I calculate that out, I get 599.99, which I'm going to round to 600 pounds. 600 pounds in compression. Now if we take a look, we know that these are the uh, these are the amount of forces that are actually at play on this awning uh, when they hang that 500 pound sign. So it is 700. It's feeling like 700 pounds on that beam, and it's feeling like 600 down at the bottom. And so if it says in the problem that it was set up to withstand forces of 600 pounds, and uh, there's this new tarp on it that weighs 500 but it says it can take up to 600. If we look at this, this bottom beam can handle 600 pounds, and this one's only got 500 pounds of pressure on it, but this one right here, that has 781 pounds of pressure on it. And so if you look at that and you think about if it's only designed to hold 600, uh, it's not going to be able to hold 781 pounds. And so when Tom's Grill takes down the sign and Jennings Bistro puts up an awning that weighs um, that weighs 500 pounds, then 
she's running a really good chance of a collapse, even before there's snow. And then if you add snow on that or something like that, then it's definitely going to collapse. Hopefully that helps solve that problem. As you noticed, because there weren't uh, so many forces at play, we didn't have to sum up the moments for this. Uh, we could have, but uh, it turns out that they weren't a big deal because we were able to get the forces because there's only three sides of this. Uh, and we had well, we had an angle and essentially one side because of how the forces played out. Uh, we didn't have to go through and do all the moments like you did on the one previous.